G'day, I am Alistair Christie, and this video is produced by for uh, LearnDelphi.tv. So there's a bunch of free videos there and um, some commercial content. Um, so, you know, buy my videos, uh, as I always say. Um, so, yeah, go to www.learndelphi.tv uh, to check out those. Um, this blog post is about Delphi XE3 and its imminent release. So, uh, yesterday I was in Auckland um, and I attended the product release. It's not really a release, is not, not available as yet, uh, but should be available in the, either the next few days or next few weeks uh, very soon. Um, so, uh, looking forward to that. Um, so, yeah, it was a, a, a morning presentation. Um, sort of 8.30 till, well it started at 9 I suppose till, till 12.30 so um, sort of three and a half hours or so on what's new in Delphi XC3 and there's a, quite a bit um, there's some disappointments but there's, there's some, some cool stuff there as well um, so one of the things that is perhaps a little bit disappointing is that there is um, the pulling out support for um, mobile development out of Delphi, so the iOS support, which is a bit of a hack anyway, um, is no longer in XE3, and that's going to be in a product called Mobile Studio. Um, so Mobile Studio is going to be a, another um, IDE personality um, that, that plugs in. Uh, presumably if you've got Red Studio, you'll get that, but if you're just, just Delphi, then you might not. You might have to purchase that as a um, separate product or an additional purchase. It's a bit of a shame, but um, uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I think that's a separate product more to um, uh, uh, get new new users into, into using Delphi and what have you. So, so but it's pretty cool, um, and it, it looks quite good. Uh, it's it's uh, not going to be so. XE3 is going to be released very shortly. Uh, Mobile Studio is going to be released later in the year, um, probably towards well, that's where. Uh, getting towards the end of this, I'm not sure, later. Um, and uh, it was quite good, so it's it's got currently iOS support and it allows you, so the, 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 the previous issues with uh, XE2 was that you basically exported a project which you then imported into Xcode and you were debugging and what have you from Xcode um, using the uh, free, uh, free Pascal compiler. Um, Delphi is not the Delphi language, um, there's some incompatibilities there now, and um, so they're not using that strategy anymore. But uh, the, the the new system is, is of course much better. Um, you can debug your uh, iOS apps directly from Delphi. Uh, you still, however, require a Mac to uh, run on the run the your applications, test your applications in the simulator. I'm I'm not sure if you can debug them directly with a device that, that wasn't actually mentioned. No one put that up, so. Uh, it might be possible, might not be. Um, I've, I've got some notes. So, um, so yes, it's, iOS is going to be uh, supported first, um, and Android a little bit later. Um, yeah, and it's it's not part of Delphi XE3, but possibly part of Red Studio. Um, oh, another interesting point is that uh, it's uh, one of the issues with um, the. Uh, uh, XE2 was that it didn't support Indy, so you couldn't do any sort of socket connections or anything like that very readily. Um, or not, yeah, not very easily. Possibly you might have been able to do it through the, the, the native stuff, but um, now Indy is going to be supported on iOS. I'm not sure how much of Indy, but presumably um, sort of the HTTP and the FTP and um, the, the, the standard sockets type stuff um, should be supported, uh, and that's there because uh, it's required for DataSnap, which relies quite heavily on it. So we'll uh, hopefully see um, uh, data snap support uh, m working much better than it was previously. Um, and I presume that means T-Client dataset and uh, all the associated bits and pieces with that. Um, and hopefully DBX drivers for um, the SQLite and Interbase. There's an Interbase mobile, Interbase Go, something like that. Um, is it probably, I'd probably not interested in it myself, uh, um, depending, I suppose it depends on, on the, the, uh, how easy the uh, SQLite interface works. Um, but hopefully it's full, you know, 
DBX drivers and should, should go really well. Um, oh, the, the code name for this sort of Delphi and mobile studio is Water Dragon. Is, um, picked up. There's a whole heap of enhancements for C++ Builder. Uh, I don't care about C++ Builder, um, C++ at all, so I didn't uh, make any notes and don't really remember. Um, but if you're into C++, there's, there's much new stuff. Um, if, I, if I cared more, I, I probably would have <laughs> taken some more notes and, um, and be able to report those back. Um, so, uh, back to uh, Delphi. So, um, Windows 8, um, so no WinRT, but they've got uh, a Metro-like uh, interface, which you can take advantage of. Uh, available, available both in VCL and FireMonkey. Um, so it's not native. Um, I suppose it's, it doesn't really make sense anymore saying that. But um, uh, it it will allow you to write a Metro app and have it compile and run on Delphi XP um, and up. So X, XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8. Whereas uh, if it used the actual um, uh, Metro, it would only work on Windows 8. So it has that advantage. Um, and presumably you could, you could uh, um, have your... Uh, the, the, they're calling it Metropolis, because uh, of course they can't call it Metro. Um, you could compile a Metropolis application and run it on OS 10 or possibly even iOS. Um, but I suppose Microsoft licensing won't allow, allow for that. So, um, But it would be interesting. And, and, and of course, uh, the Mac people would probably be quite horrified and ignore your application in its entirety. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of the Windows 8 stuff. Um, so not a lot new for the VCL. Um, there's now uh, Visual Live bindings um, has been added, and that's supported both in FireMonkey and VCL. Uh, and basically that allows you to hook up um, various things to uh, your controls. The, one of the examples given was you have a, a t-edit and a t-label and you hook up the uh, text property of the t-edit to the caption property of the um, t-label and you type in the edit and press tab and it updates the, um, the label ca um, caption. So quite cool uh, and quite quite powerful because you, you, you can hook up all your um, data sets and stuff like that to, to various controls. Um, in, in quite quite easily, um, and that looks looks to be quite powerful. Um, I don't know whether I'll use it. I'll have to have a play around, um, but it, it does look good. Um, FireMonkey two uh, has a whole heap of new things. Uh, in particular, um, it's now got uh, anchors, um, so for uh, aligning controls and what have you. So you got alignment and anchors, like in, in uh, the VCL, and it now supports actions, so the action lists and all that type of stuff, which is quite good um, and will be uh, quite powerful. Um, so, da, da, da. so, just got some notes that I, I took on the day. Um, ah, interestingly, um, the in FireMonkey 2, um, there's now sort of bitmap support as well as as well as vectored. Um, so the discovered that uh, doing pixel-perfect vectored applications is really, really hard. Um, and so uh, you can now have bitmaps, presumably at a, a, a 1.0 type scale. Um, I don't know what happens if you uh, go beyond that or what have you. Um, but it, it does mean uh, the applications will look, look better. And apparently that supports uh, retina displays as well on, on the uh, OS X for the, the new uh, um, Mac, MacBook Pros um, that support it. Um, so, uh, th that'll be good, um, but uh, I'm not doing any OS 10 development so, um, as yet. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, uh, HTML5, ah, uh, HTML Builder. So, I think that's what it was called. Um, so, what was um, read PHP and before that uh, PHP for Delphi or Delphi for PHP or, or whatever it was, um, uh, which was an appalling name by the way, <laughs> uh, caused potential potential for causing lots of confusion. I, I think uh, read PHP much better. 
um, HTML builder. Um, yet another name change. Um, but it looks really nice. Uh, it, it seems the from the demonstration, it looks like it's geared more towards mobile um, so that you build your uh, mobile app, uh, sort of the interface in HTML and JavaScript and CSS and what have you. And it supports, uh, you can write PHP sort of uh, in the back end, which compiles um, uh, onto the device, and use PhoneGap uh, to deploy it to, to you know, the iPhone um, or uh, Android device or BlackBerry or whatever. So phone gap supports uh, lots and lots of stuff. So um, that, that looks quite cool, but I probably won't get into it. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got written down here. Um, as as uh, for going to the uh, event, I, I've got a, I can see that, uh, stand on to be toes, a, 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 um, a shirt which um, they were giving away free. Um, I actually uh, stole a second one because I wasn't sure whether medium or large would be suitable. Um, so the medium and it's fine in the body, but the arms are a bit short. Uh, the, the large is as well, so it might be might be part of the style, I guess. I don't know. So that, that's that's what I've uh, all I've got to report. Um, the, the the presentation went quite well. Uh, there's a few things that went wrong. Things always go wrong. They're using uh, betas of the software, so uh, <laughs> there's um, so the, as as Red Studio is not released as yet, um, but. Uh, it, 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 it went quite good. I enjoyed it. Um, it it's gone better than some of the previous ones. Uh, I, 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 I did a couple of other things. I've got some recordings of interviews with people about um, what what they do with Delphi, and I'll, that's a separate blog post. Um, and I recorded um, the, the presentation was given by Malcolm, Malcolm Groves and uh, Damien Bootsma. Um, I think that was, I forgot his name right. I should, should double check that. Um, and it, it went really well. Um, all the presentations were, were, were reasonably slick uh, and, and seemed to be well, well rehearsed, obviously. Uh, la last time, New Zealand was the first place in the world uh, for the uh, presentation, and that's probably... Uh, um, and now we've, they've uh, uh, had a bit of practice before, <laughs> before coming over here, so they did a few places in Australia. So um, that's, that's all good. Uh, I will. Um, I did record uh, some of the presentation, and I'll hopefully uh, be able to put that up. I'll have to confirm that with uh, um, with uh, Malcolm Groves. Make sure he's happy with that, um, and it was uh, quite good. So um, I will catch you another time. I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv.